Hello everybody, I hope you're all doing really well. Welcome back to my channel. How are we all? I hope you're all good. You joined me from quite a miserable day today in London. I'll show you the weather in a second. It's very rainy. I feel like we're very much into the swing of autumn. I'm kind of happy about it, I'm kind of not. There's nothing really much we can do about it. The rain is just gonna come regardless. Um, but yeah, I hope you're all doing well. Um, today is kind of just a super chill, relaxed day at home. I thought I might as well just vlog it. Um, there is also going to be a little bit of, of this video that is sponsored very kindly by Logitech. But I'm going to get onto that in a second. But yeah, today is a working from home day. Um, these are my favourite days where I don't have to go out. I kind of just put some comfy clothes on. I've got my t-shirt on that says living my best life. And um, this is from New Look. And um, yeah, and it's just a super cool, chill day working from home. I'm going to put my glasses on. Now I can see you. Um, so yes, today's video is going to be sponsored by Logitech. Logitech. I'm going to be doing some work with those guys on Instagram too. But Logitech reached out and said, hey Luke, um, we obviously know that you've made the push now to be full-time on the internet, which is crazy. And um, they sent me out a package of a keyboard and a mouse that's wireless, which is perfect for home offices or offices on the go. You can just pop it in your bag or leave it on your desk. It's a great way to make your office space feel cool. So um, yeah, we're going to be getting onto that in a second. But um, I just want to come back to that actually. I've had quite a few questions from people asking if I'm going to be going back to uni in this coming September, October, if I'm going to be doing like a master's degree. And the answer is no, no, I'm not. I am I am full time online now, <laughs> which is very crazy. I just want to say the biggest thank you to you guys who are watching at home, who've made this possible on Instagram and on YouTube. If you aren't following my Instagram, please do. I'll leave it here. It's at Luke Catlow. Um, loads of cool stuff going on over there if I do say so myself. But um, yeah, I just want to say the biggest thank you to you guys because basically this has became my job. I I'm going to be perfectly honest. I didn't see this coming at all. You know, I had a full-time job lined up when I left university and it's kind of been crazy. I I'm, I'm really, oh wow, my glasses are getting steamy. I'm going to put the tea down. Yeah, it's it's been absolutely madness and I kind of feel like I haven't had a minute to catch my feet and take stock of what's happening. But this is essentially my job now and I could not feel any more proud and grateful to anyone out there who does watch my videos and leaves such lovely comments. Yeah, getting that soppy bit out of the way. I'm just gonna be working at home today. So, so my day completely varies. So today is a home day, but some days I'm out and about in London taking photos, filming. Some days I'm obviously just at home doing all the admin stuff, which is really boring. So uh, quite a few people do ask how I actually do work from home and how I stay motivated. And I'm not gonna lie, sometimes it could be quite tricky, especially because my office is in my bedroom. Right behind me is a very comfy bed, and to resist the urge to be doing my work and emails in bed, and then I feel very unproductive. So for me, I love to just wake up. The time is currently actually midday. I'm starting this video a little bit late. I've kind of been up, had some breakfast, been doing some bits and bobs. Um, yeah, so my day generally does vary, but I like to make my office set up as streamlined as possible. Obviously, the video you guys saw before this, I was putting a shelf above my desk, which has helped so much. It sounds really silly, but um, it's actually helped me massively in terms of getting things off my desk and making everything just perfect. So um, yeah, let me quickly show you the setup. So this is the desk setup I've got going on at the moment, and I've just got my secondary screen here and my first screen. So obviously, this is my laptop, um, and then I connect it to a larger screen, so I've got kind of two screens going on, which is perfect for anything like editing, photos, things like that. I can have my emails on one tab. I can even split the screen to have like three screens, which is brilliant. So I can essentially have like an email tab, an editing tab, and then another photo tab, which is perfect. Um, I bought this desk quite a while ago, and it's a great desk, but it's not the biggest. Could definitely do with being wider, but I didn't really want to purchase a new one because I really enjoy this desk. So I thought by installing the shelf above, which is perfect, everything that was on the desk has now been moved up. So it's just so much more space. And then this is the Logitech keyboard and wireless mouse. I chose the white color, but it also comes in like a charcoal black graphite, which looks really, really smart too. So yeah, this is the Logitech Slim Combo MK470 model of keyboard and mouse and genuinely I've just been using it all morning just bash out my emails and it's so handy obviously having my keyboard I actually bought a stand if you guys can see for the laptop just to raise the screen a little bit more because the desk is uh, quite wide having the keyboard here right next to me means I'm not leaning over anymore which is very handy for my back too because I was noticing I was getting quite a lot of back pain my friend Ewan as well Mr Carrington you guys all know him he said the same and apparently it's the way we're sat behind the screen for so long so I think this is really going to help in that sense as well the battery life's lasted a long time too, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, and it's just got a little keyboard receptor that I just put into my little setup here. Obviously, I've got one of the new MacBooks that doesn't have any of these ports, which is very annoying. But if you did have a standard computer, it would also fit as well. It's just a classic USB port. And that just transmits to this keyboard here. 
The mouse is also wireless and it's got some batteries in there too. You can obviously get some rechargeable batteries if you'd like to. Obviously it's better. Please ignore my apple. It's my apple and green tea. So yeah, this is this is my setup all morning. I'm literally just going to sit here for a couple of hours, smash out some work, and then I've got 101 other chores to do. So yeah, this is where I'm going to be for the next hour or so. Don't cover me, babe. Your shadow's hanging over me. Breathe on me. Okay, so I've just finished up some emails on my laptop and I'm pretty much there in terms of clearing my inbox, which is good. Um, so now I'm just about to do some planning and I use two planners that might seem a little bit excessive, but one of them is more like a diary and one of them is more like a notepad, but they kind of go hand in hand. I know there's probably like a digital way to do this, but for me, there's nothing better than a pen and some notepads. So, okay, amazing. So, basically, the way I do it is, let me grab the little thing and I can... So these are the two planners that I use, and then I'm going to basically show you guys how I plan for the month in advance. This is September, which is the month we're in now, um, and I put some things in here. So this is essentially what one of my weeks would look like. This was the beginning of September. So um, we had things like a flight to Lisbon and Porto. Those days were blocked out. There was a shoot after that. I was shooting with someone in the morning. Um, this is kind of just little bits of everything, really. Also, the good thing about this planet is that it has um, a day by day that you can put a massive chunk of information in. So things like a vlog. I'm going to vlog that day, and then this video has already gone live. You guys will have seen this, and then um, that kind of thing, like events and things I need to go to. This is like three things in one day. That was a busy day. Um, so now I'm going to try and get ahead for the month of October. So I've got Zara's 22nd birthday in here, and we've just booked Paris as well, which is super exciting. So I need to put that in this diary, and then any other events that I have on my phone, I always put them in my phone calendar first because that's the thing I carry with me the most, and then I put them in here, and then the rest I'm just going to try and plan throughout. Things like here, my mum's visiting on the 3rd of October, so she's here for the whole weekend. Let's try and put as much as I physically can in this. That's the planner, and then this is my notepad. Genuinely, guys, this notepad has been with me for quite some time. I use it near enough every single day. Um, it's near enough full. I think it's like tracking receipts, um, just things like that. I obviously don't want to show you guys too much, but um, oh god, we've got some receipts. I'm nearly at the end. Um, so basically, I'm going to try and just cover up this. But um, these are the little slips that I use, and they're the little to-do slips. I featured them in a Poundland haul quite a while back, and these are the ones that I use. They're just little tabs. Um, so you can peel these off and kind of just stick them on your screen if you need to. Um, but yeah, they're really, really handy. And essentially I just use those to increment out each day, so that was the 23rd, the 24th, and I just put things like clear inbox. But essentially whenever I'm planning a day, I'll just do a fresh page or there's some text, I'll do half a page, stick something out and then write my to-do list. So that's what I'm going to do now. I've essentially cleared my whole morning to-do list, which is perfect, and then now I need to do my afternoon to-do list. On me and don't cover me, babe. Don't lay yourself on top of me. Don't want us to start again. Okay, so not your I'm in the kitchen and we did have dinner last night and I just said, oh, I'll just leave the dishes, we'll do them in the morning and I'm like, oh god, why did I do that? So we've got a bowl full of dishes to clean, um, so I need to do that. Then I'm going to make some lunch, pop a wash on, and then I'm going to make some shortbread. Um, let me grab the recipe book, it's the classic Jamie Oliver recipe book. Ah, there we go. Um, I absolutely love this recipe book. This recipe book is Jamie Oliver's five ingredient meals and essentially um, dishes that have, funny enough, five ingredients. And it has desserts, which is fantastic and sweet treats. So I'm gonna make the chocolate orange. I have made this before and it is absolutely delicious. So we're gonna have this for pudding this evening. So you need butter, you need some flour, custard sugar, orange and chocolate. So this is gonna be my treat after I do the dishes and put the laundry on. I don't think I ever got around to showing you guys the finished baking cupboard. This is one of my baking cupboards, which has the ingredients, and then this is my secondary cupboard, which has all of my equipment. A little bit excessive, I know. I'm actually going to pause that wash because that's going to really annoy me. So this is the secondary baking cupboard, and this has all of my equipment in, which is kind of crazy, I know. So for this recipe, you're going to need the scales. That's for sure. Need some plain flour, which is that. Some golden caster sugar, which is this one here, very strategically placed. That's it on the front. Um, but uh, yeah, that's it. That's literally it. So that's for the dry ingredients. So we just need the caster sugar, flour, and scales. Let's close that. 
Oh, also chocolate, need chocolate, which is here. Got a bar of um, dark chocolate. And then from the fridge, in the fridge we need to grab some butter, which is this one here. And one orange, which is just here. These are wonky oranges from Aldi, and they were so cheap. And they're really good. And if we're gonna do some bacon, we've gotta do it with the Luke Calloway apron, haven't we? <laughs> this is a Christmas present from Ewan. And I still love it. It's a bit grubby, but it does the job. Genuinely, guys, when I say this, is possibly one of the easiest recipes you can do. And this book is so, so good. So um, I'm going to talk you through step by step. There's literally steps, and it's pretty much done. <laughs> but I've just greased and lined a 20 by 20 centimeter square tin. I used a little bit of butter, and then I just lined it with some bacon parchment and made sure it's all pressed into the corners, which is perfect. You also want to pop your oven on at 190 degrees just to preheat on the fan setting. Um, so yeah, in a large bowl, you're going to want to put 150 grams of unsalted butter, which is this one here. And then you're also going to, ideally this would be at room temperature, but you know what? It's going to be fine. We'll be fine with this. And then you're going to want 200 grams of plain flour and 50 grams of golden custard sugar. And you just rub it together with your hands. It's literally that easy. I'm trying to forget about you. Okay, so in this bowl I had flour, butter, sugar, and a little bit of orange zest. I kind of rubbed it all together until it made like a dough. And then I transferred it into the tin and just pressed it down. And then I'm just going to get a fork and prick the top just to make sure it's all going to cook through, which is perfect. And then this just needs to go into the oven for 20 minutes until it's nice and golden brown. And then you just top it with a bit of drizzled chocolate, some orange zest, and you're done. Okay, so the shortbread is out of the oven and it looks fantastic. While it's still warm, it's a really good idea to sprinkle some golden caster sugar on, which I'm going to do right now. You don't need a lot, just a little bit, but it absolutely just makes it taste that little bit more sweet. And then I've just put a small saucepan on the hob and I've got a glass bowl. And I'm going to grab some of this chocolate. You probably don't need the whole 100 grams, maybe I'd say half. I'm just going to melt it over a bain marie and then drizzle it over the top. Don't cover me, babe. And there we have it, guys. A super, super easy chocolate and orange shortbread. Literally looks so, so good. And it was so easy that you took like half an hour max. And there was a little bit of leftover melted chocolate. So I've just dipped some strawberries we had in the fridge in it. And I'm just going to pop those back in the fridge to chill and we're gonna have those after dinner as well. This is a little behind the scenes sneak peek of how I take my Instagram pictures. I um, have these tiles from B&Q and essentially I just um, went in and bought one of them. I think it was like four pounds. So you can use this as like a mimic of a um, bench. So when you like zoom in, it's like there, it just looks like a white bench. Obviously it isn't, but that's a good tip for anyone out there who's wanting to get into uh, food photography. But yeah, I've just cut this up into one, two, three, four, five, six, 12 pieces. And it looks fantastic. I've just took my photos and um, yeah, I'm really happy with that. I've been um, contemplating this idea for quite a while. I'm thinking and I think I might start a secondary Instagram account um, dedicated to just food because for a long time I've kind of struggled to find the balance between um, posting fashion and lifestyle and travel and interior and it's kind of been a mix of everything and food and a lot of people have said why don't you create your own food account like that's what my instagram started out as when i first started online um but it's kind of like swayed more towards the fashion interior and travel stuff and food kind of does pop up every now and then but i don't really feel like a fit and people really love it so i figured if they'd follow me on one account they might follow me on another so by this time this video goes live it might actually be online and active um I've contemplated the name Bites with Luke and I quite like that idea and it currently isn't taken on Instagram so I think I might do it. I think Bites with Luke might be a thing and um, this might be popping up on there. All of the recipes and everything I create, I just really want to showcase them because I just cook and then I never really do anything with it. So it'd be really nice to share more of it and if um, you want to check it out, I'll leave it linked down below if it's live if I ever get around to doing it. <laughs> Hello guys, so it's a bit later on. As you can tell, it's actually starting to get dark. Autumn is well and truly underway. It's like half past six and... My room's already quite black, which is a little bit scary. Um, I've just been sat at my desk again doing some more work. This is classically a day in, day out. I know it looks like my life is blooming exciting. And it is. It's very exciting, but it's also a lot of admin. <laughs> yeah, I'm just sat behind my desk just doing some more work. And um, Zara's on her way home, I think. She should be home any minute now. I'm going to cook some dinner, so I'll show you what we cook as and when. The flapjack. And flapjack. 
The shortbread was delicious. I'll quickly show you some photos on here. It looked incredible. So, so happy with how it turned out. So these are the images I've selected and I haven't obviously edited these yet, but if we just have a quick look and see what they're gonna look like. Let me just move this one over here. That's the great thing about having this desk set up with the keyboard is that you can literally just move things over and you've got two screens, which is awesome. So, this is the post I'm going to use as an announcement, either this one or this one. I have my new food account, which I'm so excited. So I've renamed it, literally in the space of catching up with you guys, to Luke Catlow Eats. I had it as um, Bites with Luke, and I kind of like that, but I kind of wanted to have my name in it somehow. It's Luke Catlow as my main account, and Luke Catlow Eats. So yeah, this is, this is either post one or the other. And then this is the flapjack, which looks wicked. Oh, me again. Um, yeah, this is the flapjack. It's looking awesome. Really, really nice, and honestly, guys, it tasted delicious. Um, I'll leave my handle here, Luke Catlow Eats, if you want to go check out all the food I've been uploading there, but honestly, I'm super, super happy with these have turned out. But honestly, I'm super, super happy with how these have turned out. So, I'm making some dinner this evening. We're having one of our classic chorizo and butter bean stews, which we've just popped in a little pan. We've got some passata, some chopped tomatoes, some chili, garlic, onion, super, super easy. And we're just going to have this in a bowl with a little bit of garlic bread that's currently in the oven. And that's dinner this evening. Very, very easy. And we might have a little cheeky gin and tonic because it's a Tuesday. Why not? Dinner is served and a gigantic gin and tonic because it's a Tuesday. Like I said, and on Tuesdays, we drink gin and tonic. <laughs> Hello guys, so I actually didn't end the vlog yesterday, we just crashed in front of the Great British Bake Off and I had a very early night, but yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed a day in the life video of me doing some admin, doing some work, working from home, feeling productive and feeling on top. Thank you so much to Logitech for sponsoring the video, I'm going to be linking them down below if you want to check them out. I really hope you've enjoyed the vlog and there'll be plenty more vlogs coming soon, but thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys very, very soon. Bye for now.